questions for Coach Slocum? League home opener Thursday night. What's your thoughts on the, the last two um, splitting on the road? I know last week you said you'd be happy if you know you could at least get one. I mean, what do you think? Uh, you know, it, it was funny because we played really. Um, we played 38 great minutes at UIC, and then two bad minutes, and then against um, Loyola we played, you know, 30 what I would call average minutes and 10 really really good minutes. So um, I, I thought our guys played very very hard, very well. Um, <clears throat> like I said, a little disappointed that we didn't finish that game. Had an opportunity really to sweep Chicago. Uh, but a great effort, you know, great comeback effort on uh, Saturday. I thought our guys showed great heart and great character uh, to be down like they were down and then, you know, fight right to the end. <laughs> you didn't want to put too much emphasis on one game, or, but I, I feel like that UIC game, or the Loyal game, I think, could have loomed very large if you had lost that one. You see, I don't want to say change your season, but... Yeah, I, I mean, I, you know, do I... I mean, I look at those, I've really looked at our, our year in a lot of ways in clusters because of the fact that, you know, we started, you know, with the season with a whole cluster of being on the road and then before Christmas with another cluster and now in league play, another cluster. And um, <clears throat> I think we, I think I've, you know, I, I've done a pretty good job with our group getting them to understand that, um, <clears throat> you know, it, it's about fighting through and having, you know, we lost the UIC game and we were all disappointed and I kept on, you know, re you know, reiterating to them that you have to have a short memory, especially in league play. And I said that to them today, you know, I mean, we really, really responded well to a loss in terms of an effort. Now we need to respond really, really well to a win uh, because you're probably playing uh, I think the most talented and most gifted team in the league in Detroit when they come in. Can you break them down a little bit more? <clears throat> and what needs to happen to get, get a victory? Well, you know they play. You know they 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 have five guys averaging over 11 points. Obviously the, you know their best player you know is the guard, uh, McCall, and he's you know he's he's a good basketball player. They're very 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 good offensively. Might be the best offensive team in the league. They can put five guys on the floor. Uh, that all can shoot the three and all can play, uh, you know, very, very well at the offensive end of the floor. Um, it's a very talented basketball team. And when their karma's right, you know, they're very, very, very difficult to beat. Um, they've played a very good schedule. Um, you know, we're excited about having, obviously, a home game. And then we go back on the road for two more next week. So, um, you know, we're, obviously, they're a very good team. <laughs> They've struggled a little bit on the road. Can you read anything into that? Um, no. I mean, I, I think they played a really tough road schedule, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, I don't have it in front of me. I know they played some, you know, at Syracuse, at St. John's. I don't know if you, any of you guys have that in front of you, but um, I know, I, you know, they're, they're a good basketball team. Coach, we've been kind of we talked with the women a little bit about do the programs feed off each other, and I know you're obviously focused on the things you have to do, but when they're doing well, is there any kind of does that pick up the guys at all in any way that when the women are playing as well as they are too? Um, no, I mean, I, I mean we're very happy for them. You know, I mean they're we're, they're obviously uh, you know a group that works hard and and. Uh, you know, we're very excited, for, you know, very excited for them. Um, happy that, uh, you know, that they're having the success that they're having and, and pull for them to continue that success. Um, but in terms of, you know, any momentum, and we felt the same way about football and we felt the same way about, um, <clears throat> you know, our volleyball team had a really kind of a special year for them and, and uh, you know, women's soccer, you know, had a good year, so... Uh, you know, we're this is a you know, this is very much a family, and we're very much aware that our women are having a, a really, really good year, and we're very happy for them. Jerry, what's the biggest uh, factor in your team from this year to last year? I mean, last year you're down by 14. With all due respect, maybe not have won the game, but what did you see in Saturday's game that maybe you didn't see last year? Well, I I, I think we just persevered better. I think we're a veteran group. 
um, <clears throat> when you've got three guys that are on the floor, you know, a lot of the time, and, you know, KP, Blake, and Damian that have been in the wars um, in this league, uh, you know how quick it can change, and, uh, you know, in, in, in terms of, of good play. So uh, if there's been one, you know, really positive thing this year, I, I just think we're tougher mentally. Um, obviously, you haven't seen all of our games, but like the Bethune-Cookman was a very physical, physical game. And our guys really responded. Um, for 35 or 6 minutes at Central Florida, I mean, we just have been tougher. We've just been tougher physically and we've been tougher mentally. Um, and in a game like that, where you could have won two in, in, on the road in the league, to the two teams that are in the league that have the best records, um, I think it says a lot about the kids' toughness. You look in, I mean, YSU has both rising league players of the week. Both teams are doing well. I mean, is it starting to become a basketball school? Maybe? There you go, Joe. <laughs> I can't say that, but you can. Uh, um, you, you know, I mean, there, there are two coaching staffs in the men's and the women's side, and I'm talking about obviously our assistant coaches and theirs, um, that have a lot of pride in what they do and have a lot of pride in Youngstown. And we can't do it without players. Uh, I think both of us have gotten some, uh, you know, better players over the last couple of years and have signed some really good kids. I know you know, we're excited about our future. And uh, uh, it's, it's exciting time and it's fun to see YSU do well. It's fun to see YSU do well in the Horizon League, uh, which has you know, been uh, a tough challenge for us in almost all of our sports. And for us to be fighting to get over the hump and be competitive every single night out in all of our sports uh, in that league, which is a very, very tough league, um, I mean, it, it's something that uh, uh, those coaches need to be proud of. And, and, and again, the men's basketball program is very, very happy for everybody.